In past Power to Save segments, we've shown you how some goods can be upcycled into new ones. Well, this week we explore downcycling and the possibility of turning agricultural plastic into crude oil. News Watch 16's John Hickey has more. When you look around the farms in central Pennsylvania, you see lots and lots of plastic. It really helps when you use plastic mulch. You can really minimize water consumption, which can be really important. But then again, you have this plastic left over. So what do you do with that? That's the question Dr. Deborah Sills, a civil and environmental engineering professor at Bucknell University and researchers from Cornell and from the country of Israel are trying to answer. Dr. Sills and the research team were awarded a $300,000 grant from the U.S.-Israel Binational Agricultural Research and Development Fund, BARD for short, to find a method to turn agricultural plastic into a liquid fuel. We're more downcycling, um, so you could be, you can downcycle plastic into some kind of crude oil, which would then need to be upgraded if it would be something, you know, you would want to put in your car without trashing your car. The research team is working on two different thermochemical processes that turn the agricultural plastic into a liquid fuel. It's a bit of a complicated process because the plastic is contaminated with pesticides and leftover plant material. We're trying to see if these processes will um, convert the plastic into oil along with the residues and not have harmful air emissions. Dr. Sill specializes in life cycle assessment modeling. What's notable about it is that you, you make sure you look at the environmental impacts at every stage of your process. While early data has shown that this process will work, there are still some environmental and economic questions that need answers. The part that we that is less guaranteed to know that whether it will work is, you know, is it cost effective? Um, is the fuel, like how much upgrading does the fuel need so it can be usable? Dr. Sills tells us that the three-year project will have additional early results this winter. With this week's Power to Save, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.